You're watching Ruroni K95's anime review on New Fist of the North Star. Hi, Ruronis. This is your pal Ruroni K95 here. Once again, for today, we get to cover another Fist of the North Star related anime. For today's anime review is Fist of New Fist of the North Star. New Fist of the North Star, in Japanese translated as Shin Hokuto no Ken is a three-episode anime OVA series based on the original Fist of the North Star franchise, directed by Takashi Watanabe and produced by OB Planning. The story was adapted from Jubaku no Machi, which is The Cursed City, which is a 1996 Fist of the North Star novel written by Buronson and Tetsuo Hara, set sometime after the conclusion of the original manga, an English dub version of the New Fist of the North Star OVA was produced by ADV Films in 2004. Yes, and it was made by the company called ACGT, which is Animation and Computer Graphic Technology, which is a Japanese anime production company. Instead of Toei Animation... Because I've already looked back on my previous anime review on both Fist of the North Star 1986 anime movie, as well as the two of the remaining Fist of the North Star series that I've covered on my previous anime review. The OVA New Fist of the North Star has grossed about 20, 230 million yen, as it was to 2.88 million US dollars in DVD sales, with a 20, 200% return on investment. It has earned 150 million yen as it was to 1.88 million US dollars in overseas sales, exceeding domestic sales. In the 21st century, a nuclear war turned on most of the Earth's surface into a des desert wasteland, which also resulted in the contamination of the Earth's water supply. Yeah. A man named Sanga has built the fortified ha haven of the last land, where he rules as its dictator by monopolizing the city's uncontaminated water supply. When he learns that the neighboring residents of Freedom Village are trying to dig up a well for their own, Sanga sends his underlings to sabotage their effort. Kenshiro, master of Hokuto Shinken, gets involved in the conflict between the two regions after saving after saving Toby, an informant hired by Freedom Village. Yes, this is particularly based on the Fist of the North Star novel. Yeah, which is basically under the, the title "The Cursed City," especially for. New Fist of the North Star anime when it comes to particularly like a three episode OVA series when it comes to have adapting it from the original New Fist of the North Star novel which is Fist of the North Star Cursed City which is basically like a novel full. and also the ADV Films dub of the Fist of the North Star Trill OVA one has hammered positive reviews from critics. Chris Wood of Toon Zone praised Kenshiro in, in, is in fine form. And through though the story may not blow you away, it's plenty adequate to support action. Mike Toole of Anime Jump says that New Fist of the North Star is flashy and a little cheap, but ultimately rewarding Chris Brevard of anime on dvd.com was very pleased with its first episode yeah but felt that the second episode could have been much better written and that the third episode was unnecessary and that the trilogy could have been a lot tighter with, with a bit more streaming on the s streamlining on the script well it's just how it is what it is when they adapted from the Fist of the North Star novel, which is Fist of the North Star, the Cursed City novel, which they adapted into a three-episode OVA series. 
Now, if this was Fist of the North Star 1986 anime movie, or one of the Fist of the North Star anime TV series, which is that I've already covered on my previous anime review, then I would have been compelled for my review on the anime. But I'd say to have it on Blast, or something like this. But, it's new Fist of the North Star, which is a three-episode OVA that lasted about only three episodes from, two th from technically, between January, July 24th, 2003, and May 20th, 2004, especially for the three-episode OVA, New Fist of the North Star, which that all makes perfect perfect sense because they m adapted into a three episode OVA which that all makes perfect sense well the story simply put is just how it is what it is close to watch it which is basically set in its post-apocalyptic world in which people beat the living crap out of each other with martial arts Ken Shiro is the greatest martial artist on the block because he knows the Fist of the North Star, or Hokuto Shinken, and therefore cannot be injured. Very v otherwise. Like, the beginning of the first episode is where it st all starts to go downhill in a hurry. You listen, you have to listen to the dialogue. If you watch the dub version, or maybe sub version, it's how doubt about which one you had to choose. The art in Fist of the New Fist of the North Star OVA, however... Well, the art's pretty good. It matches the art of the original man of the manga and tweaks a little bit, making it look prettier and more full colors. Except when they go into the 3D look, it's just how you expect seeing what the animators wanted to do things in both 2D and 3D. What Fist of the North Star would would have been like. Some show, not all obvious. Seems how it is when it, how it presents and that, out of that some shows seems to be able to pull off bringing the two worlds of 3d and 2d animation together but this is not one of them every time it shows the landscape it's nothing but poorly rendered sand and nothing else i know that there are in the post-apocalyptic world but there are what be at last something to break up the monotony every once in a while. However, the makers of this series did a cop out on the 3D, so there's nothing really how you expect to see 2D and 3D animation in a three episode OVA for New Fist of the North Star, that's why. It's truly how Express, without all the 3D that they threw it in, it might have given the series an 8 or 9, the animation department, but since it had, it clashes all what I'd expect. For, it all makes, you see something like, I don't think they haven't made, because I don't think that you expect seeing something before, what it has done before, which it all makes perfect sense. Throughout the years, when a long time anime fans would in would grow up yet together in extensions on discussing some of the brutal and violent anime titles to ever exist, Fist of the North Star, aka Hokuto no Ken, Hokuto no Ken, was one of the titles that would always come up. The series and the movies were er, the very definition of gratuitous violence. The new Fist of the North Star OVA continues to follow the bloody path packing a little more depth than the original 1986 Fist of the North Star anime movie. And no, not the live action with Gary Daniels. No, no, no. No, the original 1986 Fist of the North Star anime movie that I was talking about. You know, the one that came out in 1986 around the same time as Yurisa Yatsura movies. Sick. Four, Lum the Forever. There is a so anyways, back to New Fist of the North Star. There is a small amount of substance to be found, and the subject of it does hit can on, hit on can be frightening. The series does have a staple plot overall. At least one of the characters fill his role in pushing the story and delivering a very realistic plot twist. 
The main character, Kenshiro, even though he's the hero of the story, is kind of, oversh of overshadowed. Kenshiro is mainly present to deliver final justice by engaging in some inspired hand-to-hand -hand battles. However, he is still very easy to cheer for. Kenshiro appears to all be almost be an anti-hero with his merciless streak, but when looking at the crimes committed by the villains and their gruesome and painful deaths are well deserved. He also delivers some pretty good lines before delivering execution. The second main character, Toby, proves to be the most interesting in with his transition that and of how you see in New Fist of the North Star. <laughs> for this is a very violent OVA. This is the point that must be driven home for those who shun these type of shows. For those that love it, brace yourselves, because it maintains the brutal tone that almost completely throughout Fist of the North Star knows what it wants to be, and the comedy is v kept very low. The fight scenes were, are very well detailed with its gore, Kind of like how you expect if you've seen either the original Fist of the North Star anime series or the 1986 Fist of the North Star anime movie, or if you read the original Fist of the North Star manga, which is how it is what it is. You practically get the whole nine yards de 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 decapitations, bodies chopped in half, brains and guts exploding out of people left and right, brutal deaths by various weapons with lots of blood. I believe the series is a gorehound's wit a dream, but plus you get quite a bit of fan service. Because I know F New Fist of the North Star OVA had the nudity part in it, which is not, not quite obvious. The original Fist of the North Star anime movie gave some detail, but this series somewhat paints a better picture of the misery taking place in this world. The rulers are very evil and abusive to the weak. Plus, you see the negative effects taking the place with the people and how it influences their behavior. The aspects of the series is how it is what it is, depiction of the people's beliefs in a higher power. I believe this is the most overlooked point of the series. The writers marked to by displaying the fantasism in a higher power or when people have lost hope and their only salvation is, is to believe in God and the thing that helps the, this theme work better is there a God they can actually see with helps of them will give will and fight and die and b because they believe they were going to end up in God's hands they, er, this makes their fanatical ways unbelievable so they use have so, New Fist of the North Star could have been a very well above average series, but several other things dragged it down, such as the ending, which the female lead character, Sarah, she served a small purpose, but I f which is how you see in the, the New Fist of the North Star OVA series, which is a three-episode OVA, actually. So... Overall, the series is very good because if you're looking for some gory fight scenes, as a matter of fact, along with the fans of the Fist of the North Star franchise, those are all, you you uh, you might re recommend watching new Fist of the North Star OVA because there's lots of action, plot twist, interesting and realistic theme. This has gratuitous violence will put off some weak ending, subpar animation, miss potential as well. It's just how it is what it is for New Fist of the North Star. Because this came out on its day on July 23rd, 2003, I guess. So that's going to be it for my anime review on New Fist of the North Star. Thank you for watching my anime review. But before you, here's my thoughts. Because I believe on this day, this came out on July 23rd, 2004. And it ended by May 28th, 2004. And only lasted about three episodes, I guess. Hope to subscribe for content. My anime plan link in the description down below. You can share this video on your Twitter Facebook. If you have a Twitter Facebook account and all social media, be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking on the like button on this video. Feel free to leave it in the comment section below because I have New Fist of the North Star on DVD. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Rurouni K95. Feel free to join my channel, especially if you're new to my channel. Hit the notifications bell button. Be sure to get notified and keep it open talk for this anime review on new fist of the north star because i have it on dvd and i got another anime review coming up for the next anime review stay tuned for my next anime review to cover urusei yatsura related starting with my anime review on urusei yatsura movie 3 remember my love 
Stay tuned for my next anime review on Yurisei Yatsura Movie 3. Remember my love, because you won't want to miss another anime review.